Hey, it's me, Dave Lee. We're tooling around with Bob at Lakeland True Value in Dunn Villa. Bob, it's the big green egg. It is the big green egg. This is the ultimate cooking experience. And today, I just wanted to fire this up. It's below zero. What better day for grilling? I'm uh, sick perfect. of winter. I don't yeah. know about you. Yeah, so I'm let's, done. Let's get outside. Let's grill. This right. thing's really easy to light. So let's start. I want to show you how easy this grill is to All light. Right. All right. So there you go. You take the soda cap off. Oh, throw stuff around. I got it. We're going to use our Big Green Egg Natural Lump Charcoal. Okay. This is the best natural lump charcoal you're going to get for the money. It's the most consistent. This is pure what? It's Look a lot easier to light. It's that. cleaner, no lighter fluid. And I can have this hot as, almost as fast as a gas grill. So I'll All show right. you how that's done. So we're simply going to fill this up. To this line right here between our firebox and our fire range. Yep. So we always have a consistent amount of charcoal. Okay. And then what are we putting on here now? These are fire starters. So my right. two favorite ways to light a big green egg are one with fire starters and sawdust cubes. Non-toxic. Don't ever, 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 ever put lighter fluid in a big green egg. Okay. It's nasty. Might as well hook the grill up to your car exhaust if you're gonna use lighter <laughs> fluid. So we simply light this on fire. Okay. Stick we, it in there. It, it, they're easy to light. You set it right on top, you're done. Now we're going to go inside for a few minutes. Okay. That's it. Make That's sure it. your, make sure your like air that. hole, you want to make sure your ash hole is wide open. Okay. Keep your lid open and we'll go inside and warm up while this thing gets going. Right. So we dropped our fire starter yep. down in there. Okay. Yep. So now all we're going to do is wait. You don't have to touch it. You can be inside. I came back out here just because I wanted to show you how this, right. how fast this and easy it is to light. So basically that fire is going to take off because this is real wood. A couple minutes, you'll have fire like you see now. Yep. In about four or six minutes, that flame will die down and then we'll close our lid and let our grill heat up. In total, probably 12 to 15 minutes. Then it's pizza time. Are you getting hungry? I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry too. You know, this big green egg lit up fast with this product here, but there are other options that people have if they want to even get it lit faster. Absolutely. Another great option is their fire, their electric fire starter, the igniter. This thing's awesome. You simply light this thing. You do have to have electricity, okay. but you hold, it's like, it's like a blow torch. I mean, excuse me, a blow dryer on steroids. All right. You simply hold it up to the charcoal, push the button. You hold it there for two minutes. You pull it away. You're done. Three to four minutes later, your egg will be at 500 degrees ready to cook. So yeah. literally five, six minutes, you can have this thing hot. We're at Lakeland True Value in Dunvella. It's me, Dave Lee. We're tooling around with Bob in the Great White North with the Great North Pizza Company. And we're going to put these on the green egg. Yeah, there. that's what we're cooking today on the All bigger right. egg. You can cook anything on the bigger egg, but today I wanted to do something fun and simple. We're just going to do frozen pizzas. The bigger egg is probably the best way to cook oh, yeah. pizza. And I'll show you in a minute. But we're going to do the Great North Pizza made right here locally in Detroit yep. Lakes, Minnesota. We're going to do the Lumberjack, a four meat, and the warden. The warden, I tell you, and uh, Drew and uh, the gang at Great North, they really have a phenomenal product. It's available here at Lakeland True Value Store in Dunn Villa, so stop by and load up on Great North pizzas. Let's head to the Big Green Egg, what do you think? Let's do it. All right. It's the Big Green Egg at Lakeland True Value in Dunn Villa, and we're almost ready to put some pizzas on this thing, Bob. As I promised, you know, 10, 15 minutes later, this thing's at 450 degrees. If I leave it wide open, it's gonna go all the way to 800 oh, sure. degrees yeah. plus. But we're cooking pizza, and I'm gonna cook those about 425 today, so I'm ready to get us set up for pizza. So all I'm gonna do is open my lid. Look at that nice flame. We're gonna use our convector. This is very important. You must have this with every egg. This turns it into an oven. So whether you're smoking or baking, you're gonna use this. Usually you set it up like this and put your grate on top. Sure. Because we're doing pizza, we're gonna flip this thing over. I like to do mine this way. We're gonna set our stone. baking stone. You need a high quality baking stone because pizza, depending on how you're cooking, now we're doing frozen, so I'll do about 425, like the package says. Yep. But if you're doing pizzas at home, you might be doing 550, 700 degrees. Most stones can't take that temperature. The Big Green Egg is a high quality ceramic, it can. Big key, you want your stone hot before you put your pizza on it. So All we're right. gonna put this in here for about 10 minutes, let it get good and hot. All right. It's time to put that Great North Pizza on the big green egg. Bob, take it from here. What are we yeah. gonna do? We're gonna start with the Warden Pizza. So, the Warden. Uh, Warden Pizza is Buffalo style, boneless breaded white meat chicken, spicy Warden sauce, red pepper, and mozzarella cheese blend on a crust. No. So with a with a typical, when I do like homemade pizza, I'm gonna crank this thing up to 550 degrees plus, and I'm gonna turn yeah. a pizza every five, six minutes. Okay. Frozen pizza on the big green egg, I do just like the instructions say. So this pizza says right here, 450. So that's all, all right. I'm gonna do is set my egg at 450 degrees. This thing now is just an go. oven. It's a fantastic oven. That's all we're gonna use it as an oven. So we're just gonna set this on and we'll come back in a few minutes and eat. 
It's pizza time at Lakeland True Value in Dunville. Bob, we've got a great North pizza on this egg. Look at that perfect temperature. And look right. at that pizza. All we're gonna do is slide this bad boy off. No stick surface too, huh? Absolutely. Very nice. Very if nice. you do have a problem with uh, pizza sticking to your pizza stone, like you see you do yep. your own crust, brown rice flour is okay. a really good release and it doesn't burn like some other releases do. All right. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this up and have a sample. We're tooling around at Lakeland True Value with Bob. It's me, Dave Lee, we'll see you here. The pizzas are done, and I tell you what, they're fantastic, Bob. Uh, the big green egg, it, I mean, there's no mess, and, and cleaning one up is relatively easy once you're done cooking. Yeah, this is nothing like a charcoal grill you've ever used before. I already showed you how it's a lot easier to yep. light. It's a lot cleaner burn because it's real wood. The other beauty of real wood is there's not a lot of ash if you have a premium product like Big Green Eggs, yep. so you don't make a big mess. When we're done cooking on this egg, all we're gonna do is simply pull this cup, cap off, put on our weather top, and close off the air. That's okay. it, we're done. You just walk away and leave it alone, it'll go out. But the beauty is when you wanna reuse it, you don't waste any charcoal. All you do is you take your ash tool, you stir up your charcoal sure. so the ash falls down to the bottom, right? and that's it. You add whatever little bit of charcoal you use. Typically, it's about a handful, literally. Okay. literally. And then you cook okay. again. And if you do get build up in ash, you just simply take your ash tool and you clean out your ash hole because okay. nobody wants a dirty ash hole. Right. So you gotta get airflow. Yep. You just simply scrape out the excess ash and that's it. It's all about airflow. Absolutely. And denunciation. We're tooling around with Bob at Lakeland True Value in Dunvilla.